Robert Rose, known as a pioneer of Jamaica's independence era dance movement, recently died at the age of 81. He was a founding member of Jamaica's National Dance Theatre Company, among so many other things. This morning, we've invited NDTC's former principal dance and costume designer, Denise Francis Robinson, as we pause to honor the life and work, Bert Rose. Good morning, Denise, how are you doing? Oh, good morning, Delia. It's so wonderful to be here. Lovely to see you. You're looking amazing. <laughs> Thank you, my darling. Thank you, my darling. So, you know, you. this this is going to be about Bertie and the energy. <laughs> yeah. That was yeah. Bertie. So yeah. talk to us a little bit about his early life. Oh, boy. You know, I, I accepted this little mission here and said, wow, this is a big job. It's a big responsibility because he was such a big personality yes and um, my first encounter with, with Bert was um when i was a teenager in never black stand school and i saw a picture of Bertie, and so he was my immediate heartthrob mine and jackie fisher smith another <laughs> um, former dancer with ndtc <laughs> and you know that was it the, the fire that that helped to stoke my passion for dance yes. <laughs> Bert rose just a picture and um, it was such a pleasure when I, you know, reached the School of Dance and he was part of the, the big four, um, Barry, Barbara, Sheila Barnett mm -hmm. and Bert, you know. And um, so he was, he was my, my foundation in, in, the, in the world of dance, really. Mm -hmm. And he was such an awesome dance teacher, you know, that's, that's the first space that I met him in but he was more than a dance teacher you know because he taught us how how to perform you know I, I loved going to Bertie's classes because he did everything at once you did your technique you know you did your uh, progressions and and then you performed he, he was always training us to perform you know hit the the, the, the last row of the theater mm -hmm. get the light chest you know and of course let the audience see your face connect yes. with person in the audience you know and you will connect with everybody you know so those are the lessons that he taught as dance teacher yeah and it's, but, it's significant because um barry bertie prof all very successful super talented dancers and transitioning to ensure that the next generation of dancers um would be would be as successful and as accomplished and even more, and and I thought yes. and just I thought that was very that was something significant about them that 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 yes. Bertie was invested in passing on the baton. Absolutely, absolutely. He he was so selfless when it came to that, you know, and he would not accept accept anything but your best. Yes, you know, he yes. was he was always pushing you to, to do more, be more, come on, hold it, you know, mm -hmm. um, let them see you. It, it, you know, it, it was, he was, you know, you, you see those classic um, movies with coaches that really push their, their players to, to, to really excel, to go beyond where they think they could be. Yes. That's how Bertie operated, you know, with us. Yeah. And I mean, that extended, of course, into, for me, certainly in terms of the, the designing of costumes. He, he was a, a master. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know how else to put it. You Listen, know? Denise, I was going to a, a, a pageant and I had a straw hat. It was just a straw hat. And I was yes. passing Bertie at JCDC. And he said, yes. no, man, that needs something. And he saw <laughs> uh, they had a bandana wrapped around a flower, a flower pot. And Bertie just took it off. And by the time he was done with the hat... I had, to carry it, I had to carry it in my hand. And when the competition was done, they had a raffle to see who would win the hat. It was that. Uh -huh. So he had, he, had, he had that creative intuition about him. And that's something that has been ingrained in the way he's a part of how we mark independence. NDTC. Yes. NDTC. Yes. Um, a big part of that. And also his work with JCDC and Festival, yes? yes? Yes, yes. I mean, Grand Gala, you know, I've been a part of the Grand Gala team, you know, behind the scenes, but with Bertie at the helm, you mm -hmm. know, Bertie, Monica, Pats Lawrence as well, you know, 
but him being that um, the magician, you know, the almost the puppeteer, weaving and pulling the different elements together, you know, conceptualizing, you know, from from the the littlest stitch on a costume to the grand um, occasion to what it will look like, how to flow, what would you know, the lighting, the you know, which group comes when. It, it, I'm I'm just I just feel like I'm just bubbling over with. How do I express yes. how that talent. Mm. Uh, the talent that he had? And as you, you spoke about that hat daily, that, that, that's, like a, that's a typical part, you know. Yes, ma'am. Because you know, I was working with him on some project. And, you know, I'm there with my sketch pad and, you know, drawing. I said, okay, come here, come here, come deep. Come, 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 come. And then grab this and grab that and spin it round and twist it round. Oh, it was World Cup cricket, yes, in 2007. Um. Spin it around, say, see, Teddy, see, 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 go on now, go draw it. <laughs> you know? So it's like my my brain and everything else was struggling to, to, to keep up. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. It's moving like rapid fire, and you had to keep up with him. Mm -hmm. He was very invested in, 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 in the development of Jamaica's culture. I mean... We had a discussion yeah. one time and he was saying, listen, how they do it in Broadway, the, after the performance, the dancers, the singers, the actors, the writers sit together and that's how things flow yeah. and we need to meet. Him did love, him love calling a little meeting at him house and cooking and having, having a, a gathering, not you? <laughs> little meeting, big meeting, intimate meeting, any kind of meeting. <laughs> you know, his, his passion was people i think yeah. you know he he really the entertainment was in in every part of him and you know his his vitality you know is zest for life mm -hmm. um the entertainment was something that you know if you went to bertie's house just passing by you're not really going there to you know sit down you had to sit down you had to grab a drink. You, you had to put a drink in your hand. Sandra Manet and I had had an occasion where we went to his house and he had nothing to give us but, you know, have a frozen fish in the, in the freezer. Yes, you know, yes. And um, in 25 minutes from frozen to fabulous, <laughs> he was master chef. <laughs> yes. So the creativity was, you know, everywhere for him. Yes, yes. We, Everywhere. Distinguished teacher, event organizer, artistic advisor to NDTC. He received a uh, Institute of Jamaica National Award, OD, a Silver Musgrave Medal. It, it can oh. go on and on because I'm telling you, yes. um, when Jamaica yeah. gained independence, there were some men and women who were there from day one and committed their life to, the yes. to our, our cause of freedom and development, Ambert Rose. Is one of those yes, people. Bring up identity, you know. Yes. Or, or neatness. Yes. As yes. Jamaican, Jamaicans. Yes. Yes. Thank Bert, you, Bert was one. Thank you, Dennis, for sharing that. Thank um, you, dear. Yeah, nice to see you, my love. Lovely seeing you. To bless you, All and right. thank you for this opportunity. Anytime, anytime. Denise Francis Robinson, bless. NDTC's former principal dancer and costume designer, sharing with us on the life and work of Bert Rose. R.I.P. Uncle Bertie. Coming up next, we quiz and stack. With some cum. <laughs>